Hi, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to find the domain and the range of a quadratic function in which the form is f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So the technique that I'll be teaching you here can only be applied if the function is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. For a quick review, domain is this is the set of all possible values set of all possible values possible values for x that you could supply to the function the range is the set of all possible outcomes coming from the x that you have chosen to use in the function set of all possible outcomes and these outcomes are the y y or f of x because it is a function okay so basically when we speak of domain we are concerned about getting all those x and we sp when we speak of the range that means what we want are the y values okay now again specific to this video is getting the domain and the range of a quadratic function and not just any quadratic function but it should be of the form ax squared plus bx plus c okay now when we have a quadratic function finding the domain should not be difficult actually later on you will see that you only need about five seconds or less to determine the domain of the quadratic function why remember that a quadratic function ax squared plus bx plus c can only have two possible graphs and that could be the one opening up or the one opening down okay now with these two cases suppose we have a random graph in the xy axis if we are getting the domain it means we are trying to get all those x that is represented in the graph now because it is a parabola it means this arrow is going up at the same time it's going to the left this arrow means it's going up and it's also going to the right and going to the left and right means going to infinity negative infinity and positive infinity so visually it's very clear that it is possible for us to get or to have all the x values be represented in the graph meaning to say if i choose any random x anywhere in the x-axis there is always a corresponding value for the function or the y so that means the domain of a quadratic function is the set of all real numbers even if the graph is going down like in the second case the same observation can be seen this graph although it's going down there is a direction to the right this is going down there is a direction going to the left so we are covering all the x values in the x-axis therefore the set of all possible values for x for a quadratic function is the set of real numbers every value in the x-axis can be used so we say x such that x is an element of the set of real numbers or we say it's from negative infinity to positive infinity or you can even say it's all real numbers now this will be the domain of any quadratic function of the form ax squared plus bx plus c okay so the main will remain the same for all quadratic functions it's the set of all real numbers so the next time they ask you say a given problem is find the domain 
say they ask for the domain and you're given f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 3x plus 5 then the moment you identify the function as a quadratic function then the domain is simply the set of real numbers because every number can be used in the x now what about the range so let's write the range of f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c okay so we will still be getting the range by viewing or by looking at the two cases for the parabola okay if we have drawn an x and y axis keep in mind that the range is those numbers that are represented by the graph in other words if I select this y value then I know that there's a point on the left and there's a point on the right and that y has a corresponding value in the graph so we just have to identify all this y and it's very clear from the graph that after this point or below this point the y values here are no longer represented by the graph because if you go to the right or left rather you're not hitting the graph if you go to the right you're also not hitting the graph meaning to say that y value is not represented in the graph now as we can see again then this must be a very important point because that seems to be the boundary of the range because the range should be above that number or equal to that number and that will be our key in identifying the range of a quadratic function this idea is also applicable even if the graph is going down if we have identified its maximum point then that will be our guide to identify the range in the case of the graph that is going down the range is all those numbers less than or equal to the y value of that point okay so i hope you're getting the idea um, on how we could use the, that point effectively so if that is a very important point then we must find that point and in the lesson on quadratic equations we call this point as the vertex the vertex is a point so it must have an x and y and what we are after is to identify what is that y say if this is 3 then that means the, the range of this function is all the y bigger than or equal to 3 if this is 4 then the y is greater than or equal to 4 in the other graph say if this is 11 then the range is less than or equal to that number 11 because all the y value are below 11 okay so when we find the vertex our goal is to identify this y because that will be the guide in finding the range okay let me show you the formula in finding the vertex because there is a formula when the function is given as f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c the vertex of this parabola is obtained by using negative b over 2a and also there is a formula for the y for ac minus b squared over 4a so from here there are two approaches that we can use one is that we find negative b over 2a and once we found that number we substitute that in the function to find the y and that will be the y that we're looking for or we could directly get the y by using 4ac minus b squared over 4a okay 
Now the problem with the second option, so this is option number one and option number two, you need to memorize this formula. And sometimes, if you just interchange or make use of a wrong formula, say instead of 4ac minus b squared, you remembered it as 4ac plus b squared, then your answer is wrong. Now compared to 4ac minus b squared over 4a, negative b over 2a is easier to remember. So what we can do, find this number, and then once we have that number, you substitute that to every x to get its corresponding y. And that is the y that we are, that we will be using. Okay, now let us apply this in an, in an example. Say, if I am given, or we are given, f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3. And the question is, find the domain and then find the range. Okay, again, the domain is x such that x is an element of the set of real numbers again because it is a quadratic function no more uh, solutions needed all we need to have or all we need to know is that it's a quadratic function so every number can be or every x can be used in the function now for the range again we will be using the vertex okay so we will apply the negative b over 2a. So if we have x squared minus 2x plus 3, the first thing that we have to do is to identify what is a, what is b, and what is c. So a here is 1 because that's 1x squared. b is negative 2 here. And then c is equal to 3. And then we find the value of negative b over 2a. Take note that negative b over 2a is the x value of the vertex. So negative b is negative of negative 2 divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So this is positive 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So that means the x value of the vertex is 1. So we're left with finding the y, which is what we really need. So to find the y, take note, we are working with a function x squared minus 2x plus 3. So that y should come from x squared minus 2x plus 3. And it's the y when the x is equal to 1. So when we compute for 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3, you should be able to solve that this is equal to 2. So the y value is equal to 2. Okay, so this is now the vertex. And if we have f of x equals x squared plus minus 2x plus 3, the maximum point or the minimum point should be 1 or 2. Now here's the key. How do we know now if the 1, 2 is the maximum point or the minimum point? Okay, I think you have learned this already in earlier algebra. The parabola will open down if the x squared is uh, negative and opens up when the x squared is positive. And as we can see, x squared is a positive x squared. So the graph must be going up or opening upwards. Hence, the vertex is acting as or is the lowest point. So the range is greater than or equal to the y value of the vertex. And that's how we find the range. And it's done. So we say the range is y such that y is an element of the set of real numbers and y is greater than or equal to the y value of the vertex which is 2. Okay, so that's how you find the domain and the range of a quadratic function. Again, for any quadratic function ax squared plus bx plus c, the domain is the set of all real numbers. For the range, 
we have to make use the y value of the vertex and determine whether it's above that y value or lower that y value and that will depend on the orientation of the parabola okay so always remember the formulas that you can use in finding the vertex because that is important okay so here in this video we made we use just negative b over 2a but you can also use 4ac minus b squared over 4a directly okay now if in case you want to memorize this formula the y value that we got as 2 can be obtained immediately by supplying a c b and a down below i'll be leaving that with you as an exercise now show that the y value is in B2 when we place A, C, and B. Okay, that's it.